I'm Maureen Whitehouse, a spiritual teacher and a miracle mentor. This clip you're about to watch is from a much longer talk I gave to my subscribers in the Miracle Meeting Place. It's an online program and community I made for people who want to experience more miracles in their lives. If that sounds like you, check out the link in the description below. And if you resonate with anything I say in this video, please click that like button and be sure to subscribe to my channel. I release new clips and videos every week and I don't want you to miss a beat. Thanks. Here's a good one. I'll be graduating from college this year. So many of my friends are focused on what they want to do with their future, while I feel I don't know who I am or what to do with my life. Any suggestions for me? Take a big deep breath, <laughs> relax. First of all, you're really truly at the cusp of your new life, that you're about to leave all of the the things that are more of the uh, institutionalized learning and go out into a free experience of life, a free spirited, unbounded experience. If you can view it that way, then you won't want to just keep following the same patterns that you've been in since you were maybe in kindergarten and just going along with the pack. If you realize that you don't know who you are or what you want to do with your life right now, really amazing, really amazing. It means you're doing a degree of introspection, that you're not just performing and that you're not out there just trying to look towards a successful future. Just stop for a moment and embrace yourself where you are and let yourself notice that most often now people are realizing that they're going to have multiple careers in, this, in their one lifetime. So let yourself relax right now and think about for one moment, what you would do if you were in a vacuum, it was only you and you, only your opinion, only your thoughts and feelings about what you were doing with your life. You still had all the things you could play with in the world, but no one else's good or bad opinions matter. Really, truly, that you were only making your choices and decisions based on what felt most enlivening and joyful and fun and fulfilling to you. Now, if you don't know that, then I think it's really great that you're recognizing now you don't know who you are or what you want to do with your life. That's okay. That's okay. Because even people who think they have it all their you know, ducks in a row and, and their future highly planned, even they sometimes will find themselves hitting roadblocks or, or taking a detour and changing their mind about what they're doing. Often our vision of things is different from the reality of what we're experiencing unless we've connected to ourselves and to who we truly are first. So just see this as a good thing that right now you're recognizing that you don't really know who you are or what you want to do. Take that as a cue to begin to do some more introspection. Spend some time in nature by yourself. Do things with the idea to cultivate space around this without judgment and without guilt. Let yourself just feel how beautiful it is to have the spaciousness to not just jump into things just because it's there. Let yourself choose wisely what resonates with you on the deepest level, at a soul level. Let yourself feel what you quite possibly came here uniquely as yourself to do and be and have in this lifetime. And it might be completely and entirely different from anyone else, anyone else on the planet. So do spend more quality time with yourself. That's what that question indicates to me the most, that you really want now to spend quality time with yourself. Step away from your studies a little bit towards the end here when you're, you're making your way down the, the hill for the final phase of this college experience. Enjoy the people in your life. Enjoy yourself. And, and just know that when you're connected to your heart of hearts, that when you're doing what you really love and what you really feel is genuine and authentic for you, opportunities arise. Doors open. Synchronicities happen. So let yourself connect now 
first and foremost, so important. And enjoy this space of non-judgment, not feeling guilt, and just let yourself leave a little bit of space. This is your space between breaths. Feel it. You have an inhale, taking all that studies for so many years in. Now there's a pause before you exhale and go out into the world with all your talents and abilities. Just take that pause between breaths and let yourself abide in that space between breaths. This is your space between breaths. Enjoy it and you'll see all the good things will come to you. Connect with yourself first and all the good things will come to you.